Well, a developer was so kind as to help me fix my save file, so we are back here in Loop. Yes, the one that started it all. Let's see here. Let's just let's just do this all over again, because why not? Obviously not gonna make the same mistake as last time. Also the game updated, so uh like, <laughs> literally, I, I I just launched the game a few minutes ago after verifying that it was fixed earlier, and be between me verifying that it was fixed and launching the game, it's literally the same day as last episode still. Uh, they already updated the game, so I'm not sure what's new. Not sure if it's related to what I did. Probably not. But we are good to go, finally. Hello, who are you? What can I do for you? There's my mouse cursor. Me? Well, uh, I was born when New Jerusalem was a lot smaller than it is now. And there was a lot of work to do. I wasn't really interested in technical stuff, engineering and so on, but I was good at keeping things organized. So I got involved with the administration side of things. Uh, making sure the scavenging teams focused on the right materials, uh, keeping track of our energy usage, that sort of thing. I think we've accomplished what the Founder wanted us to, and I'm proud that I helped make that happen. Byron doesn't see it that way, obviously, but I think sometimes he gets so lost in his dreams that he forgets to look at the real world. Is that mouse cursor supposed to be normal right now? I thought it was like a custom cursor. I might be misremembering. Whatever that being is, it told us that we stand before the fire. That can only be a warning, and I think we should take it seriously. We don't want another new Alexandria. I'm thinking that this fire is metaphorical, and that it's like some sort of technology that will massively affect the whole robot population or whatever. That's the only thing that makes sense. Well, doesn't that just seem apt? Alright, uh, I need to find puzzle number one, or else explore for another triangle puzzle. Where's my compass? Uh... Right, I guess I don't have a compass right now because it thinks I'm in a puzzle. That's eight. So one is somewhere in this direction, I suppose. Oh, terminal. Wait, can I use the terminal while holding this? Evidently not. The New Theology 1. From the New Theology by George Bernard Shaw, the object of the whole evolutionary process is to, really, to, ta, to realize God. That is to say, instead of the old notion that creation began with a God, personal being, who, being perfect, created something lower than himself, the aim of the New Theology is to turn that process the other way and to conceive of the force behind the universe as working up through the imperfection and mistake to a perfect organized being having the power of fulfilling its highest purposes. In a sense, there is no god as yet achieved, but there is that force at work making god struggling through us to become an actual organized existence, enjoying what to many of us is the greatest conceivable ecstasy, ecstasy of brain and intelligence, and actually conscious of the whole, and with executive yeah, yeah. And with executive force capable of guiding it to a perfectly benevolent and harmonious end. This is what we are working to. Uh why why does it need to have religion involved though? I mean, feel like you could do all those things without that. Yum. From the Lives of the First Companions by Randolph. After these events, Yum decided to consult the writings of the ancients. While philosophy and religion interested her, it was art in all its forms that came as a revelation. To her delight, she discovered that meaning was not something constructed purely out of logic or will, but that it could also be found in stories. That even when the characters and events of the story were not factual, they had a validity and weight as if they somehow were real after all. She was astonished that such a profound experience was freely available to all humans, but concerned that too few took advantage of it. 
so she set out to enrich the inner lives of her fellow citizens by promoting the arts, starting with the legacy of Gehenna. Neom sounds nice. I would love to meet her one day. She must know more about New Jerusalem art history than anyone. When we do, remind me to explain how to pronounce her name. <laughs> the, the default settings in the language libraries are wrong. <laughs> oh, that's, that's amusing. From the Introduction to Leviathan by Thomas Hobbes. Nature, the art whereby God has made and governs the world, is, by the art of man, as in many other things, so in this also imitated, that it can make an artificial animal. For seeing life is but a motion of the limbs, the beginning whereof is in some principal part within. Why may we not say that all automata, engines that move themselves by springs and wheels as does a watch, have an artificial life? For what is the heart but a spring, and the nerves but so many strings, and the joints but so many wheels giving motion to the whole body, such as was intended by the artificer? Art goes yet further, imitating that rational and most excellent work of nature, man. For by art is created that great leviathan called a commonwealth, or state in Latin civitas, which is but an artificial man, though of greater stature and strength than the natural, for whose protection and defense it was intended, and in which the sovereignty is an artificial soul, as giving life and motion to the whole. Lastly, the pacts and covenants by which the parts of this bodily politic were at first made, set together, and united, resemble that fiat, or the let us make man, pronounced by God in the creation. Oh my goodness, that was very difficult to read through. That is a kind of writing style that is not one I commonly read. Then again, I, it's been a long time since I've done a lot of reading. I uh, need to get back into reading again. It's obvious that Hobbes has read Stratton and is extrapolating the Talos principle to the level of, a, of the state. But unlike Stratton, all he wishes for at the end of the day is a powerful ruler to control this machine, to tell him what to do. Uh, maybe. Oh, now I'm standing on the box. <laughs> That's funny. Drop the tool first. Interesting, so this is- this box is considered a tool. I mean, I guess that makes sense. Just not the first word I would have used for it. He's got a tool! Drop it! Something like that. One is over in this direction. Who are you? Oh. Right, I saw you earlier, didn't I? Wow, I'm really deep into all this. So these monuments represent each of the entities. Pandora, the Sphinx, and Prometheus. Makes sense, I guess. For a given value of sense. There's clearly writing around the edges here, but it's not translating it for me. Hmm. Alright, we're near the beginning again. Keep an eye out for any sparkly floating things that might lead us to collecting a star. One K, what's up? Maybe they're for powering up the mega structure, or maybe they just open it like keys. Why? No idea. But aren't they gorgeous? Just incredible feats of engineering. We don't have to make up our minds just yet. Yep, that's a good point. Here we go. This is what we were looking for. Uh, where is a good place to put this, actually? Just put it there. Quantum tunneling. Oh, I guess this is where we were supposed to be introduced to this concept. Here we go. 
know I did that one in a bit of a weird way, but it worked. There we go. Yep, that that was that was the entire puzzle, I guess. And I guess they're not doing the particle things that we have to follow anymore, because we know the drill. Y'all really are just walking around aimlessly while I'm doing all the work, huh? I mean, they're, they're fixing other stuff, but like... <laughs> I'm the one solving all the puzzles. Not that I'm complaining, it's just interesting observation. I'm not sure what to do with this box yet. Hey, we have our compass now. That's good. There's an unknown in this direction. Is it that? Yep, it seems like it is. So let's get up there. Let's taste. Oh yeah, so these- these can also be question marks. Oh, oh, gotta do that first. There we go. While exploring the forest, I came across a site of primal force. A beautiful stag, standing on a hill silhouetted against the setting sun. It appeared like a messenger from some divine natural power, perhaps from Gaia herself. Even to a being such as myself, less susceptible to manipulation by instincts and hormones, it was clearly a moment of revelation. In such moments, we are told to avert our eyes. But what if we do not? What will we discover if we look more closely? If we could speak to the stag, what wisdom would it have to offer? The answer is... none. The stag is an animal of overwhelming stupidity, driven only by fear, hunger and lust. There is no abyss for us to plunge into behind this revelation. Rather, the revelation is as flat and unreal as the plywood walls of a film set. <laughs> What's a little timing with that? Alright, let's put that there and work on this. Mutual aid. Interesting. in here, I suppose. Can I reach it through here, though? Not sure I can. Oh, I can! Interesting. I guess this one would have been easier to do it with, because I could place it next to the wall while looking at the proper angle. I keep 
thinking, why puzzles? Is it just their symbolic value because of our history? Because the thing about puzzles is they can be solved. But if this is about testing us, what are we being tested for? It can't just be about spatial reasoning. Our curiosity? Our persistence? You're assuming that this place follows a coherent logic. My impression is that it's full of contradictions. Interesting, so all the barriers deactivated when we solved the puzzle. Also, there was something when I was chasing the deer. There's something in here that caught my interest. Might be nothing, though. Was it this, maybe? It kind of almost looks like something, doesn't it? Almost. Maybe an unfinished carving. Alright, well, let's get back to things. That's where we were, and this is where we're going. First, obviously. We just barely can't bootstrap it from the looks of things. So we want green, that means we need both colors. Hmm. Oh, there's a ladder in here in case we get trapped. Not sure how you would do that though. Oh, yeah, I guess if you. I can see possibilities. That's a lot of tension to be supporting this weight. How is that done? This one looks like it's close to falling almost. see all three of these from the same spot. Maybe? Will it go through the tree? Uh, I don't like the chances on that. What about that? Will that work, I wonder? Oh, hmm. Yeah, question is, how do we bootstrap this? Now when we do that... Yeah... Yeah, that's the issue right there.
Well, if we're gonna do it that way anyway, maybe we just... Maybe I'm just overcomplicating things. Oh yeah, definitely overcomplicating things. <laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> I made that way more complicated than it needed to be. Oh, that that one did launch out. It's just going really fast. Any progress on the particle clouds, Melville? It's pretty clear they're integral to how all of this functions. I've gathered a lot of data, but I still have a lot of numbers to crunch before I can give you an answer. And I can't guarantee that my answer won't be another question. I'm glad we don't get headaches. Have I been here? Oh yeah, I think I was here earlier. about. Ooh. What is that about? Oh. Oh, that answers that question. Hmm. Oh, I see. Why is this here, though? It's just one of those things where... You just gotta explore for it, and there's no other reason. Alright, but we don't have a jammer. How do we get in there? Oh, I see. No, leave that there, actually. I guess that's the placement they're referring to. Yep, that works. Something that's weird about these puzzles, they're not replicas of the simulation puzzles, like the ones in the museum. Wasn't there an artist who did an exhibition a few years ago that involved new puzzles of some kind? That was Barzai. It was called Trials of an Imagined Past. I tried to get you to come along. You thought it would be boring. Were they similar? No, not at all. Was it boring? I thought it was interesting. I guess we're going to head off in this direction next. Oh, this is the one I already did, right? Is this the one I got the cube from in the first place? No! Oh, this is a different one! Or is this the one I already did? Maybe? I... Did I solve this one? Tell me if I solved it. Okay, yeah, I did. I just forgot. <laughs> that was that was earlier, last episode, and I had lunch since then. Right, I can use my compass to find number five. Is that a spark on my compass as well? Let's head to the spark first, because I, I don't know what that means. I thought I would have gotten a spark already. Did I get a get did I get near enough one to see it but not notice it? Oh, it's this. Huh, maybe this is where I need to follow a spark too. 2478. That's that's definitely a hint for something. 
Okay, yeah, five's right here. This is the one I need to do next anyway. Duet was the name of this, right? And I'll see how this can be useful in here, so we're definitely going to try and get it out. Wait, does this work through barriers? No, it does not. Okay. Oh, I can- oh! Okay. I forgot this window existed, or I didn't notice it, I mean. Oh yeah, but I can't go in there myself. Myself. There's no there's no crouch, I don't think. What am I missing here? I mean there must be something I'm blindly missing. I haven't even started the puzzle and I'm already stuck. I don't see anything on the wall here though, like let me turn off the barrier. concrete around this rock? Or is it like... Did they carve it from the rock? Either way, why? Why is this embedded into there? What if... Athena... You know, there's... What if they made a more stable simulation that doesn't have glitches? Because they're able to repair the systems. We're in that more stable simulation. Just a wild theory. Probably not true. What am I missing? Oh, wait, can I see that through this? Oh, that makes a lot more sense. I guess I need to put it by the switch in order to see it. Let's try that. Can I reach the switch through here? Yes, I can! There we go. Now things make sense. Whoa! <laughs> there we go. That was what I was missing. It said press E to climb the ladder, but left-clicking worked as well. Now. Right. 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 That needs to stay there, I suppose. Very tempting to try and put something up there, you know? Probably actually want to do something more like that. Why would I ever want to turn this off, I wonder? Hmm. I'm so used to running into these, because that's how it works in Talos 1. But no, you have to actually interact with them. I, 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 I like that, actually. I like that change. I'm just not used to it. Hmm. Okay, so we don't want to use that one just yet, then. Can I do that, though? I 
I guess we don't need that there anymore, so let's go deal with that. That should be sufficient. There we go. Now you can be free. And let's do it from the other side. Oh, you can double them up like that. Interesting. That's a nice quality of life feature. I mean, I guess it actually changes how certain puzzles work as well. Like, that- that... Whether or not it works like that would actually influence which puzzles are possible to make. That's very interesting. help me at all. Here's a question. Okay, I cannot... Double I can either put them on exactly the same spot, or they have to be a distance from each other. It's like I can't allow myself to go through by, like, stacking them. I can stand in this, though. Excuse me? That's... odd. That, like, gives you an extra boost of height as well. <laughs> Whoa! Uh, yeah. How about, let's, that's enough break in the game for now. Right, right, I can do that. Some. Um, what angle do we need for that, actually? Oh, no angle will work, apparently. Alright, well, let's just do that for now. yet so far. I mean, I can do that, but... How does that actually help me? Oh, right. I'm- I'm being dumb again. Actually, I don't think I needed to do that anyway, but, uh... Ah, whatever, it works. <laughs> Overcomplicating... Actually, here's a question. What happens... What happens if I... Can't take Driller through its own hole? That's what I was curious to see. Alright, does this help me at all? There we go. Yeah. Except... Yeah, okay, that makes sense. I should not have brought that in there. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's an easy fix at least. Problem solved. And then, we put this one on this button and we are done. They're ramping up the difficulty. Oh, there's a question mark in this direction. Let's go there. I wonder what triggers question marks appearing, because I swear I didn't see them. I guess maybe you have to be close enough to see them? I definitely thought I looked everywhere for question marks already. Is this it? Just another one of these monuments, I guess? Wait a minute! WAIT A MINUTE! Where can I get green, and how can I see from that far away?
Are these puzzles I can get green in? How would I even see that far away, though? Or is that... Or is that just where the tower aims? No, the tower aims much further away, right? This question mark is still here on my... compass as well. I think that's definitely what the question mark is? Is it? Why is it pointing in this direction? Is there something around here that's questionable? Other than... other than that? Am I missing something? Like, I'm pretty sure this is significant, but... This is designated by the star, I think. So what's the question mark? Is it something below me? Ah, yes. This is probably what it is. Whoa. Looks like you found another lab. Yeah, this makes sense. This is probably what the question mark is. Wow, that's a lot bigger than I expected. What I know, are right? Doing here? And who are they? Mirrors? I'm guessing it's just mirrors, right? But what's all this other stuff about? Untitled Draft. Saint Edwald identified the Tetramino with the Tetragamation in the Greek word for God, because to him, the mathematical properties of the Tramino reflected God's ability to reshape the world without breaking its laws. Elohim, in his desire to impose meaning on the simulation, which was his primary function as storyteller after all, took Edwald's heretical ideas and integrated them as the sigils of his name. But despite all these layers of obfuscation, there is some kind of truth hidden in all this. The world really is, in a sense, made up of minute parts that can be combined and recombined without breaking the underlying laws. Everything that exists is made of the same fundamental materials, and those materials are brought into existence by the same fundamental functions of reality. And yet, the miracle of existence is that we are not all one, but are in fact radically different and separate. How is that a miracle though? That's like a natural outcome. <laughs> New Alexandria, from the Book of Reminiscence and Regret by Eustathius. In the early days of our people, a great deal of responsibility fell on my shoulders. There were a few of us then, and though we are stronger and hardier than any human, we are not invincible. The world was an overgrown ruin and our resources extremely limited. It was a harsh time, but I felt passionate about the work. Fired up by the many sacrifices that had brought us here, from the Ian team to the people of Gehenna, whose code was part of my personality. Bit by bit, New Jerusalem grew. We had to adapt some of the plans Jernid's team had left behind. I don't think they had expected the simulation to take as long as it did, but it was all working. That's when I made a terrible mistake. Thinking it was a way of safeguarding against disaster, I propose the creation of a second settlement, New, Al Al uh, New Alexandria. As the location was far from the dam that powered New Jerusalem, I attempted to build a thermal power station that would take advantage of a local gas reservoir. However, I foolishly, uh, foolishly used geologic data from the archive, failing to account for the amount of time that had elapsed. Five years later, this error led to an accident that leveled the settlement and killed 31 of my fellow citizens. 31? Of all my many regrets, this is the greatest. So, did they reset the numbering system and fill in the gaps, or are there actually less than a thousand people, or...? Well, that wouldn't make sense, because they wanted to get to a thousand, and I'm numbered one thousand. So then, what do they do with the numbers of the people who were killed? 
Did they, or did they like repair them and bring them back or something? How? But I don't. I'm kind of confused about this. Eustathius never forgave himself for this mistake. He drifted away, isolated himself from everyone in New Jerusalem. But was it really his fault? Yes, he made a mistake. But why was the entire weight of the new Alexandria colony placed on his shoulders? A simple process of review and discussion could have prevented the entire disaster. Doesn't that mean New Jerusalem, as a whole, is at fault? He did his best, I feel sorry for him. But the dead remain dead and that has to be faced. So, did they reach the goal or not? What happened to the, the gaps in the numbers from the people who died? Huh. The Ethics of Extinction If a species we consider beautiful and remarkable goes extinct, we consider that a great evil. Dolphins, for example. If dolphins go extinct, that's a great loss. If humanity causes dolphins to go extinct, that's a crime. But if your sin but if Yersinia priests, no, Yersinia pestis, the bacterium that causes bubonic plague, goes extinct, is that an equally great loss? If not, why not? To nature, there's no difference. It's all just life forms. The only moral framework that allows us to choose between dolphins and the plague is a human one. What about a species going extinct without anthropogenic factors? Extinction is the norm. If one day dolphins are no longer capable of competing with other species, should we let them go extinct? When the sun finally dies and all life goes extinct, will that be a tragedy? If we can prevent it, should we? If you believe that extinction is acceptable when nature does it, but not when we do it, then you don't actually oppose extinction. You don't believe that dolphins are inherently valuable, that they deserve to live and thrive. You just oppose human control. You oppose our ability and responsibility to choose. Yeah, there's some interesting ideas here, but like, the, the, the problems not necessarily the extinction of animal species itself, it's the loss of biodiversity, and the, the reason biodiversity is important is because that affects our climate, and obviously our climate is what we live in. It's where we get resources from, the, the Earth is where we get our resources from. You know, we wanna, we kinda wanna live on this planet. And so, it's all an interconnected web. If you're only looking at the extinction angle without seeing how it factors into everything else, you're kind of missing the forest for the trees. Uh-oh. Uh... You're kidding me, right? <laughs> Are you serious right now? Help? <laughs> oh no... Ah, well... Yep, that just happened. Let's just get out of here. <laughs> I cannot be trusted in here. I bet my cube's gone as well, right? Yeah, I'll have to get that later. Six is in this direction, supposedly. We'll have to remember... The, uh, the green connector up here. Not sure how we're gonna power that. What's this one up here, by the way? That's seven. Okay. We'll deal with that later. And here is six. Gotta keep an eye out where we can get green from. There's stuff going on up there. Interesting. Looks like a fan and a driller. Okay, I can use this through the purple barrier just like with lasers. Good to keep in mind, I suppose. Now, oh, this is interesting. Why would we want this to be like that? Oh, 
Oh, this is why they made it so you can't stand in the barrier anymore. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. I wonder if I can click it in the air. Uh, you know, actually there's an easy way to test that. Oh, well, I can't anyway, because you can't take a jeweler through its own hole, so... Still. Oh yeah, I can't pick up stuff while I'm in the air. Okay. Well, let's just keep that in mind for later, I suppose. Oh, this fan's working. I didn't even see that. Oh. Hmm. These trees are blocking my line of sight for, uh, that hole over there, I suppose. Where do I want to aim this at, though? Let me see an obvious location. What is that? Oh, is that the jammer way up there? Oh, this is a pretty vertical puzzle. Whee! Uh, what good does that do me, though? this, at least. Take one of these guys out of here. Maybe? I mean, like, there we go. I just had to move him around a bit to get the prompt to appear. Alright. Do I want one to stay up there, is the question, because I don't necessarily have to keep one up there. I could actually do this. There we go. And then, obviously, put this here. Yeah, it's not really gonna do us any good. Hmm. This could totally fit through the bars! Come on! We're not even in the simulation! This is the quote-unquote real world. Okay, okay. How do we get up there, though? There's nothing else here, right? I guess we do need this out of here in the end. So we need to take it over here again. Right back to where it was originally, so we can take the fan out. There we go. So we can get up here, but we still need the jammer. How do we get that? What am I missing for that? That's a rather tall rock out there. Can I walk up to that from outside? I don't think so, right? Uh, maybe? No, definitely not. This is not the kind of rock that you can walk up on top of. Yeah. Get up there. Oh, I did not see this. It's double layered. Ooh. So I need them both down here. Which I could have had, I think, right? Oh, I have to do the whole fan rigmarole again though. Alright, well. Let's put that back. to do this before cycling the fan back out again. A hole through another hole. Yay! Oh, that's funny. 
All right. Now things make more sense. Uh, yes, let's do that. Fine. I will accept it. No green lasers in that one. We can cross that off the list. Eye of the Needle. Can you fit a camel through it, though? There we go, that works. Anything else in there? Doesn't look like it. Oh, interesting. Am I supposed to jump over that with a box? It's possible. Oh, yep, looks like it is. So this is just a jammer, right? That seems like the only thing I could jam, right? I could also jam that one, but, like... No, I can't, because the bars are in the way. Huh. Alright. I don't think we need that there anymore, right? Nothing else in there? Yeah. Where do we get... Oh, it's all the way over there. And... Ooh. Hmm. Well, let's- let's explore around a bit. That'll work. But that's the only way to open that, right? How do we use... Oh, that's why the jammer is like that, okay. Do we even need the box for the laser? Or just put it on that? Like, that seems like the only thing we need the box for at the moment. Alright, I need to, uh... I need to aim this thing first. Uh, is that good enough? I guess we'll find out. Okay, that'll work. Yeah, it should remember what it's pointed at, so when I put the hold there again afterward, then, uh, it should be fine. Yep, that's working. Okay. And... Ooh. Just barely, maybe. Hey, did it! Good! Let's get some measurements from this particle cloud.
Seesaw. I think we will do this one in the next episode. So, thank you for watching.